Hi, I'm Scott Hayes, President and CEO of DBI. I'm an IBM DB2 Gold Consultant and Information Management Champion. You're probably watching this short video because you saw some DBI advertising promoting a DB2 LUW performance white paper. You've come to the right place. In just a few minutes, this video will reveal an unpublished URL that you can go to in order to receive the advertised paper. Before we get to the paper's URL, there are just a few important thoughts I'd like to share with you. I've worked with DB2 on distributed platforms since 1992. I began sharing my skills with organizations through my first IDUG presentation in 1996, and I've presented every year since. I've committed my career to helping people through presentations, webinars, blogs, articles, consulting, and best of breed performance tools for over 13 years. Frankly, the current IT culture frustrates me. Nearly every database we look at is riddled with performance problems and opportunities for improvement. But there exists an addiction to hardware in our IT culture. Rather than fixing performance issues, organizations buy more memory, more CPUs, and more database licenses that they don't need. Excessive CPU utilization leads to wasted energy and suboptimal performance, which has a ripple effect on organization productivity and profitability. Wasteful IT spending really raises my blood pressure. I suspect worldwide electricity consumption could be reduced by 10% or more if we could just get our databases tuned properly. Organizations could save 20 to 30% of their IT budgets by breaking free from costly hardware addiction. Heck, maybe we could even hire some people to advance our businesses or pay the current talent we have some bonuses. Greater efficiency and productivity leads us to a smarter planet. You may have noticed that DBI has a new tagline, Smarter Tools for Smarter People. One of DBI's distant competitors told me a couple of years ago at IDUG that they thought DBI's tools were for smarter people. I think this is a real compliment to DBI's many customers that have made smart tool choices. With new licensing package options from IBM, we acknowledge the DB2 tools competitive landscape has changed just a bit. That's okay with us. DBI had a record year in 2010 because a number of organizations chose DBI over the default choice. And we helped many customers optimize performance while controlling their IT costs. The DBI tools for DB2 LUW offer many features and capabilities that are not available from others. And the results our customers achieve are astounding. We'd like to show a short video clip that illustrates how easy DBI makes tuning DB2 LUW databases. After the video clip, we'll reveal the URL to the white. Today's page. show sponsor DBI, providing smarter tools for smarter people, helping customers around the world do more, spend less, and break free from costly hard. What I wanted to show today is just real quickly, we were working with a customer yesterday and they're looking at a database, a production database that they were struggling with that had some, some poor performance. And we got to a solution very quickly in just a couple of mouse clicks. And let me show you how we did that. Uh, we we're looking at a database here that had some poor performance attributes. And then we analyzed the statement performance in that database. And what we saw was uh, a statement stuck out like a sore thumb. We, we see this frequently. There was a statement that was using 82, here it's 32, but 82% of the CPU time and 93% of all of the rows read in the database. Imagine one statement uh, just sucking the life uh, out of a database. And so we took this statement and we passed it to the IBM Design Advisor and we asked for multidimensional clustering advice, MDC tables, said, you know, uh, design advisor, we've got a costly statement, can you do anything for us? Now the cool thing about the design advisor is not only does it consider indexes, but if, if we ask for 
uh, advice on multidimensional clustering tables, we might get a recommendation for an MDC table. Or if uh, the design advisor can't think of uh, a good idea for MDC, it will also consider clustering indexes. And so we, we looked at the output, and the output from the design advisor said, well, I, I don't have any useful MDC tables for this particular uh, workload, but we can get you, uh, yesterday it was a 50.4%, I think, 50.4% cost improvement if you create a clustering index on the table. That would have uh, mitigated an enormous amount of that cost for that very costly query. In this example that I have here, we can get a 99.97% cost improvement by implementing the indexes that are shown here. And of course, if you like to see the details, here are the recommended indexes. That's what I was going to show real quickly today, is how quickly uh, DBI helps its customers understand what is the uh, what are the most costly SQL statements in the workload, and how quickly we can get to high-quality solutions that represent uh, or that result in lower execution. The white paper, IBM DB2 LUW Critical Performance Measurements, will help you measure the health and efficiency of your DB2 databases. Several SQL commands are provided. You will also receive some tips and suggested next steps for tuning your databases. I hope you'll find the white paper helpful to you and your organization. I'm Scott Hayes, President and CEO of DBI, and we are committed to helping you through education, tools, and services that will exceed your expectations. Thank you.